Hello, I'm Alessandra Paul for the Academy of Art University, and today I'm going to be interviewing Yvonne Lofton. She is a singer, she's a soprano, she's been traveling the world singing, and she's also one of the owners of the El Paso Music Conservatory. Adottate un cucciolo, un cane adulto, un cane anziano. Non comprate cuccioli perché la vita non si può comprare. In Olbia, I'm Alessandra Paul for Academy of Art University's K Art News. At the Italian National Institute of Statistics, state that 31% of Sardinians are abusing alcohol and drinking it at various times of the day and night. It has become popular for teens and adults to binge drink while going to bars, discos, parties, and on a daily basis. Salvatore Destiny, a local bartender, shares a few words. <laughs> <laughs> the Humane Society in El Paso, Texas is a non-profit and no-kill shelter. It is the largest and oldest shelter in the city, taking in as many as 3,278 unwanted pets in 2014. Finding homes for over 3,500 pets in the facility in the last year alone. Some of the stories might have a happy ending, but road is not always smooth. Brian Colin, coordinator for the Humane Society of El Paso, and her rescue dog, Leona, give us an insight of what it's like to work in the society. According to the Fun Texas Choice Organization, only eight reproductive clinics remain open in Texas, making it hard for women to get education and help needed. Even though pit bulls may look like angry little beasts, one thing is certain, you cannot judge a book by its cover. Every dog is different, just like a person is unique. In Austin, I'm Alessandra Paul. Thank you for watching and make sure to like this video and share with your other pit bull friends.